Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by EcoAlkaline's environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Hey everyone, I'm Hillary Rumble from Category 5 Technology TV. And maybe what you didn't know about me was that I actually used to raise competitively ATVs across Ontario. Me and my family were really, really into motorsports. We loved doing off-road, off-road adventures, going through the mud, going through trails, but we also have had some experience on the track um, racing competitively. As such, we've tried to document our adventures. We've tried the helmet cam, the big honk and things sitting on top. We've tried handheld devices going through the trails. Probably not our best idea and maybe not the safest. But what we haven't tried is this. The video goggles, the MX version, from Liquid Image. So, come along with me right now and we're going to test these out from the perspective of, of a regular user who maybe doesn't know that much about technology and also from the perspective of a former racer like myself. So, let's see how these hold up. Let's go. .mov or QuickTime files, so they have to be opened using QuickTime Player or um, other software that supports that. The picture save is JPEGs, and as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's easy to upload, and it's easy to see what you've done that day. The 5 megapixel camera is located right here, producing image resolutions of 2592 by 1944. The video resolution is 1280 by 720 and of course it shoots in HD which is awesome. Shooting at 30 frames per second, the lens is 135 degrees and provides a full field of view. The camera also has an automatic ISO as well as automatic white balance. Embedded in the mask itself is a microphone with a wind guard. All of these components together are going to produce a pretty sweet picture quality as well as awesome video. What I really appreciate about these goggles in particular is that they come with these protective films. All you do is stick them over these little knobs, like so, and then it not only protects your mask but also gives you heightened visibility. So when you're going through um, some wet terrain, perhaps some mud or dust, you don't want to use the back side of your glove to wipe it off and then your vision becomes impaired and smeared. All you do is rip off the protective film and then you're good to go. So I have my mask, but how do I turn on the camera? Well, it's pretty easy. When you're wearing the mask like this, there's two buttons right here. This bottom button turns on the camera. As you can see, there's a blue light. That indicates it's on the video mode setting. To switch it, 
all you gotta do is tap it once and it goes red. Red means it's on camera settings, so it can take some still images. To start or stop a recording or to take a still picture, you push this top button. I just took a picture of my videographer. Pretty cool, huh? To turn it off, all you gotta do is hold the bottom button again until you hear a beep. Pretty easy stuff. Now to charge this, well, that's another story. Open this side compartment, flip it open, and get your USB port, plug it in, and it charges based on the power coming from your computer. But let's say you're on the road, you're, you're going to a circuit race, or you're going to a new location for some riding, you need a wall outlet or perhaps a car adapter. That's no big deal. You can purchase one of those for pretty cheap and just use the end of the USB that you would plug into the computer to stick into a wall outlet or the car adapter. Pretty cool. So you can take this anywhere and always find some sort of way to plug it in and charge it up so you're ready to go. Located in this compartment right here is the lithium battery, which has a battery life of two hours. So you don't need to worry about your camera conking out when you're riding the dusty trail. The thing about my Liquid Image Video Camera MX goggles is, I like to wear them everywhere. I could really go for a snack. Huh. I even wear my goggles when I'm hanging out with my friends or at work. Here they are. They're hard at work, as you can see. Yes, it is. I wear them when I'm following nature. Charlie, may I take your order, please? Hi, could I have one medium decaf with cream and half a sugar? And a regular medium. Uh, medium regular? Yep, yeah, with okay. cream and half a sugar. Cream and a half a sugar, okay. Yep, yeah, and a large chocolate milk, please. We only have small chocolate milk here, hon. A small chocolate milk, okay, please. Okay, is that everything? That's it, thanks. 415, drive on up. Thank you. <laughs> here we <laughs> Oh, you yeah, girl. Thank crazy, you. Crazy, crazy kids. <laughs> to hear that? Crazy kids. They call me crazy. I don't believe it. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank there you. you. Go, Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. I really do wear them everywhere. Now, how do I get out? and usability of a former former racer like myself and connoisseur of motorsports it's quite possible that I am in love this is fabulous it's a great device the goggles feel like normal goggles the only difference is there's slight visibility loss in the um, peripheries compared to other goggles but they are still fabulous and for, for the purpose of wearing them and that is to document your experience I say they are terrific and the award for best performance, video quality, and overall awesomeness in an MX and off-road way is my Liquid Image Video Camera MX Goggles. Congratulations. This is Category 5 Technology TV, and you'll find us online, www.category5.tv. So nice to have you here with us tonight. Uh, I do encourage you to check out their website. It's liquidimagecanada.com. Uh, I've got a question from uh, dman810, who joins us in the chat room, and I would ask uh, that you PM me uh, when you have a question in the chat room. just makes things easier when I don't have the demo system. Uh, dman810 was, uh, was good to do that, and uh, wonders if there's a model of the goggles from Liquid Image that are specifically for mountain biking. And what I've done here, D-Man, is I brought up their website as liquidimagecanada.com and you'll see on the right hand side there are 
uh, masks for water sports, off-road sports, snow sports, and they even have some more stuff coming, such as motor sports and surf sports, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if you click on off-road sports, you're going to see that those are the uh, the masks that Hillary is reviewing, and uh, that, of course, is is you know it's going to work really well on either motocross or uh, if you're going to be doing mountain biking. I think that there are a lot of features of that mask that uh, that make it great for uh, for serious off-road mountain biking because of the fact that it has some safety features like the removable film, uh, but also um, it'll fit over your helmet. So uh, one of the nice things about that mask is it's designed to actually fit over the helmet without being pulled out from the side of your face. So, uh, so you want to check that out. They do. Uh, they are available in the uh, in the United States, um, but I would encourage you uh, because Liquid Image Canada is a dot com is a Canadian supplier. I would encourage you to email them off of their website. Get onto liquidimagecanada.com and post your inquiries. Just let them know that you heard of them on Category Five TV. Uh, that's much appreciated. Of course, I encourage you to to always let uh, our sponsors and and supporters uh, know that you heard of them through the show, so that they know that uh, that uh, they're um, directing uh, attention through us and and having you know doing things like a uh, promo like that through Category Five is is beneficial to them. Um, so please do. Category Five TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.